Assalamu alaikum guys, this is me Senpai Gamer San and your host Senpai. We are playing the game RPG module uh, full version. Yeah. So this is the RPG module full version where you guys can face the consequences about the story. As I just said that every Friday we will play RPG game. I mean give you the review about the RPG games and ask you about the comments about yours that what you guys think and I should play more about games like this. So let me know what you guys think about this gameplay. So let's do this. Well lately seemed to be darker and sadder. You save electricity by lighting up your desk with the street lamp. Behind the window with the saved money, you go to the bar and buy a humor modification and uh, warm yourself for free. Okay, you have attributes. Okay. Credits you have zero. Currency in this world allow you to reach the places otherwise closed. Safety you have a six. You can act only when you feel safe. If it drops to zero, end of the game. Skill you have zero. When your time of challenge comes, your skill will be tasted. So, what should we do? As a lonely, there we go. Okay, well then, you sit in the bar, your good chemical alter mood start to wear off. You try to pay for your another opinion drip error in fishy friend funds on your debit card. All of them weird. Okay, well, run. You run away from a long time but you feel like someone is chasing you. With no better idea where to go, you circle back near the bar. You escape the bartender. It is the first thing that come out right to do. You stand by the bar door. The street is covered by a ceiling gray mist. You wonder what happened with your credit cards certain that you had at least couple of the injection worth of credit left you hide you very carefully so the bartender does not notice you when he's taking out trash okay go to the computer terminal forward you will have to pay with credits but you will not run electricity i see You found a credit on the way there. It is enough to use the terminal for the first couple minutes. Okay. There are some homeless people around the terminal booth. You pay with a few spare credits and start to browse the net. Okay. Well then, check in the, your RC channel and talk with your online friends for the net. Five minutes passed by and the credit's gone. You cannot log in. Someone has deleted your account. If you knew about this account, it narrows the list of suspects responsible of stealing your identity. Okay, there we go. The bar is quite empty. Chilly air is coming from the open door. They will close soon, but you are free to sit and use your computer. You regain of your email account. You are un you are lucky. An email provider policy grant your ability to restore it. Now you have access of information about the IP address and the time of the last login to your account. It was the tonight when you were in the previous bar. By rigging the control of the, your account, you let your oppressor know that you are on his tail. It may be alarm him. The staff is closing down the bar. They turn the music off and are now sweeping, swiping and putting chairs on the tables. You only have few minutes left to use the computer.
But I don't have a goddamn safety though. Let's just use my old safety. God damn it. What is this? Oh, Wi Fi, okay. You regain control of your email account. You have access information about the IP address and the time of the last login to your account. It was tonight when you were in the previous bar. By regaining control of your access account, you let your oppressor know that you are on his tail. It may alarm him. You are home again. There is still no electricity and the place is very cold. Streets, lights are lighting up your living room. You trip very old bottles, cardboard. Something is wrong. The bottles are not how you left them. <coughs> A drop of water fills right into your eyes. Only now you have noticed that water is dripping from the ceiling. But no one lives above you. So what is happening over there? You go upstairs to figure it out. On your own, the empty flat above your electronic nickel secured by the police. Thanks to Kima, you know how to bypass. The story will continue. The end of the adventure, you will return now the module selection menu. I see. So this is a mini story. I just read it. Okay, let's read about the closed world, the mini story. Information, many are the short adventure, there are no limits. Author of this adventure, Krizatov, Bobnis, Wajizu, Bakula, Tipe, help with testing Thomas, so, oh, those are the names. Okay, let's play the closed world. When you were a five, you learned that there were those really big things called sky, sun, mountains, and stars. You could not even grasp the concept of something so vast you would not see the other side of it. The world as you knew it consisted of metal. Corridors stretched between the rooms. Your attribute coins you have five, they open the locked doors. I see survival you have one, it helps you to survive in extremely hostile water. You have one if it drops zero, end of the game. Attack you have one, it is the ability to kill in ages. I see. Alright then, let's see. Believe in a small entity. Isolated from the outside of the world. You are 10 years old. You are now heading for survival training. You will notice a rat is scurried by the wall. I tried to kill the rat. You managed to squash the animal with your boot. Hell yes. Yes, finally made it. Where its weak spot is. You did not make it to survival training. God damn it. Five years later, you are a teenager. Now, you are stealing trinkets at the corner. You absorb gang of the thugs, harassing Gia, a girl you fancy very much. They are bigger than me. I ignore the hustle and carry on with my business. Stop bothering people. You put up a good fight, but they beat you up. You earn the Gia gratitude. Three years later, your father just told you you are become a scout. Your task will be to find a fresh source of the water. I get down to reading about the art of survival in outside. I go to shooting range and learn how to handle the gun. I start collecting supplies for my inevitable journey. Hey, how about this? Now you know how to keep yourself warm at night when there is no shelter around. A year passed. How old are you now? 21? You are completely wrong. Oh man. I should be 19. 
You are standing by the entrance to the bunker. Your boss wishes you to good fortune and offers you a one gift to choose. Jagger counter. Old copper watch. They are unfamiliar. Jia insists she needs to talk to you before you leave. You turn your down boss. Offer just to have a word with her. The bunker gate closed behind you. What now? You really hope to find a water source? Chia grabs your hands and gives you a question look. I knock at the bunker gate to ask for more water. Your father gave you half of his monthly ration. He begs you to come back as soon as possible. Some people are having a doubts if you really are right man to find the water. Oh, so I am trying to find the water. I see. So I'm trying to find the water in here. Nice. You gave him your coins so that he could try to buy the water from the others. Gia mother's chipped in saying goodbye to her daughter. It was hard for her. You do not even know why she let Gia join a risky mission. The bunker gate close. Yeah, I move on. I don't have a coins, I just bought a water, nice. Okay. You stop halfway to the river. It is a night. As you keep walking, you find not a suitable place to pass the night. Jia spot traces of nomads going westwards. I will lay down by the road. Tall turning bushes offer some protection. We follow the trace looking for the other people's camp. The, the search took long time and you drank much water. I see. It's the evening in the distance. It's recording. You notice a glow of campfire lit by some strange people. You lay down on the edge of the hill, absorbing the sparkles flying high into the sky. You heard the drums of the men singing. We leave our ride out and approach the nomads. Nomads are the, you know, the little people. Like uh, Gravity Falls, you guys can see the nomads who kidnapped the Mabel. Okay, we are going to quietly spend the night in the cavity left in the ground after the trees has fallen in the morning. We resume our journey, circumstance, the nomads came. Approach the nomads. How about approach the nomads? A child notice your faces when you were 10 meters away from the campfire. You stop and they all stand up with their spears lifted. There are women among them hiding behind their men. They are all emigrated and dressed in the rags. Okay. Oh, fuck. That's sadistic. The strange men come closer and eagerly surround Gia. Yeah, she's frightened. You keep running halfway to the night, utterly exhausted. You drop down and fell asleep. You dream of Gia of the things you could have done to save her. You walk up a few minutes and drench in a sweat. It is morning. You have collected your things. You spot a pack of red moths blocking your path. Okay, what is this? Sorry guys, I sweat my wrist and wait for the rat mutts to finish me off. I give them a wide berth even if it involves going an extra mile. How about this? Oh, that's the ending. There are the seven endings of this game. Nice. When they approach, I realize the red eyes of the rat mutts were in fact just a spot of their four. These creatures have no eyes and rely on their senses of smell and hearing. They started with my hands and quickly tore my body into pieces. I was in agony until the last moment. So, this is the story. This is it. That's all guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and comment on my gameplay. I'm gonna catch you guys next time.